hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will try to discuss an important use case while working with dataverse users and their business unit change you know that most of the times a single record let's talk about a record first okay then we will try to understand this video will tell you some scenarios that you must consider before changing a business unit of a existing user from one business unit to another business unit and the impact analysis right so let's say there is a record one okay and this record one is owned by owner one and this is the owner and this owner one is tagged to business unit one okay so this is the initial configuration so record one is owned by owner one there is a owner fill in each record if it is user or team owned entity then this owner is tagged to a business unit business unit one and in business unit one there is a security role called as agent and for that agent we have a invoice table which we have given business unit level read authorization okay just a use case i am telling you to understand this now initially for each record the owning business unit it's same as the owner's business unit when the record is created let's say record one is created by this user as a owner then the there is another field owner business unit in this entity the record one record one belongs to the value of the owning, owning business unit and the owner business unit is same but whenever you change a user means the owners business unit from business one to another business unit then the story starts what happens the first scenario is whenever you change business unit of a user you can choose whether you want to move all the records owned by the user to the new business unit or not if you choose this option move records to new business unit while changing business unit of a owner or a user this is the flow the record one is there owned by owner one initially it is business unit one now you are changing this owner's business unit from business unit one to business unit two so what it will do if you choose move records to new business unit all the records which are owned by the current user and having the old business unit associated business unit one will be directly updated as business unit two that means this option updates each record ownership it, it never changes ownership right whenever whenever you change business units of a user the ownership of record does not change but changing owning business unit depends on your selection whether you want to select move records to new business unit or don't want to move to new business unit whenever you select move records to new business unit the same new business unit will be updated in the field owning business unit of the records whenever you change business unit and select don't move records to new business unit only the owner's business will be changed business unit will be changed but the records which are owned by this user owning business unit field remains old business unit so sometimes there is a scenario that owning business unit value is different than owner business unit okay now this is carefully understandable and shifted otherwise what will happen sometimes whenever you move the business unit from one business unit to another business unit and you do not move the records owning business unit although there are some records in the system owned by this user cannot access his own records if proper authorization has not been given in business unit 2 okay that's why it is very important that whenever you are changing owners changing business units of a user this needs to be considered how the records will behave okay so what are the consideration you need to take into account or what are the checklist you have to first understood the impact 
if you changing ownership if you are changing business unit the first thing is called as own records what about the own records you are changing the business unit of owner one from business unit one to business unit two what about the records owned by the user what is the impact the records stay with old business unit until unless you move the records business unit to new business unit the records will have will always associate with the old business unit so you just may lose access or lose loss access if b role has not been given right a proper business unit level is not given in the new business unit for that user they will lose their own data so what is the decision you need to take you have to select all those records owned by the user for which you are changing the ownership or grant organization level access so that irrespective of business unit he can access his own records otherwise select all records and reassign to other user or team number 1 number 2 owning business unit or records what about owning business unit or records the owning business unit field of each record owned by the user does not automatically update you re you remember that until unless you select that option here while you changing the ownership while you changing the business unit in the admin center here it will ask you do you want to move it or don't move it right now the flag updated as don't move it so by default whenever you change the ownership uh, change the business unit the records owned by the user view does not change but this flag can be updated through a organizational setting editor that you can download uh, this is a uh, managed tool or managed solution available in git hub by community member you can update this option allow always move record to owner business unit you can update as true false depending on that the flag will enable or disable okay so when you do not select what will happen the owner's business unit will be changed but the records owned by the user business unit owning business unit never changes it still stick to old business unit right that's why it is very important to understand that whatever wherever you are changing the ownership of uh, the wherever you are changing business unit of a user the owning business unit the business unit of records does not automatically update it depends on you that you want to update or not depending on the flag i have just selected here displayed here you have to tick mark this depending on the flag update here you have to make it true so that it will update the flag otherwise later point of time you can write a uh, plugin or you can create a power automate flow and reassign to users in new business unit to change its owning business units right N normally the owning business unit field and this is the owning business unit field this field and this owner field should be same but whenever it is different then there is a problem right accessing the record until unless you given organization access to records next security role consideration of security role while changing business units roles do not carry over to new business units if one user has some roles predefined roles associated in old business unit and you are switching to new business unit the role do, do not carry over so you have to assign the equivalent role in the new business unit immediately otherwise the user will lose environment access like that team you have to consider what is the team impact if the user for which you are trying to change the business unit the user may lose membership in business unit specific team because if the team is associated with the old business unit and you are moving to a new business unit and in the new business unit the team is not there he will lose he will not be a part of that team anymore so you have to re add that re add to the team or assign to access teams to the new business unit so you have to add all those teams again for that user okay like that said and access based records if you have said records to the user and you change the business unit it might be inaccessible right so you again reset the same records to the uh users or team right all this consideration you need to do or the actions you need to perform whenever you change ownership it is not 
that much easy it is critical part when you are changing uh, business unit uh, of a specific existing user automation and flow any flow or plugins referencing to the user will fail whenever you change ownership so you have to review all logics or all business unit dependency before moving the business unit for that user okay now what impact on audit and compliance ownership and business unit changes affect auditing and trials auditing and licensing information so you have to document all business unit changes review impact so that you will be compliance like that same impact on reporting so all these options need to be verified before you change ownership before you change business unit okay don't change the business unit immediately without analyzing analyzing all these checklist because if you change the owner change the business unit because it is very critical on data access and environment access proper strategy should be taken proper security role equivalent security role should be assigned in other uh, new business units otherwise reassign all the records owned by the user before changing the owners before changing the business units otherwise the user will lose its own records okay that is very much uh, you know uh, i think you understand now why, why it is critical to understand uh, or why it is very important to analyze the impact before moving the business units of a user okay so thank you for everyone watching this video if you want to get more in depth topics you can join the live training which is a advanced training thank you everyone bye